the notes. Oh, yeah, I post them. And we're live. Welcome to Beastly Thoughts Live episode. I don't fucking remember. 117, <laughs> I think. No, last week was 117. I think it's 118. Shit, did I put the wrong title? <laughs> <laughs> episode 231. Did you title it? Because I'm still in the Destiny directory, so I got to go to the game show directory. <laughs> yeah, I better change it. <laughs> We're on our game right off the bat. Let me know. <laughs> we talk about so much shit, but the shit one thing funny. we don't talk about, <laughs> right? Okay, we're on episode never, 118, guys. Ever. 118. Yeah. 118. Okay, episode 118. That's what I thought. All right. Welcome Thanks, to the guys. Beastly Thought Show, episode 118. Look at that. Nailed it. First try. Didn't even fuck it up this time. Absolutely, you did. <laughs> We got a lot to talk about. I'm happy to see you guys. We got a new we got a new segment coming to the show that Beastly has. He's been developing. He's been incubating. He's been molding into the idea that it's soon going to be. And I think it's going to be really exciting because it, it gets us involved with the viewers, with the commenters. It gets us a conversation. Beastly, do you want to you want to do that now, or do you want to wait till the end? To yes, yes, yes. It? I'd okay. like to talk about it real briefly with everybody. Uh, I've been brainstorming an idea to bring everybody together in the Beastly Thoughts community. Beastly Thoughts Live is a community. It's awesome people, gamers all alike, and I wanted to do something that we could all do together and talk about on these amazing Sundays. They're sometimes bland until this show comes around. So we've come together uh, as the Beastly Thoughts hosts and come up with the Beastly Thoughts Live Game Club, which is very similar to a book club in which what we'll be doing every week is deciding a game on which we're going to play. Now, this is a caveat. We don't have to complete the game because we do have a week. We have lives and a lot of things going on. But we're, we're going to devote a number of hours to this game at least. The hosts so are become, committed to playing this game, right? Yes. We're committed to playing this game for the at least a partial, portion of it so that we can have a conversation about it with our viewers and with our uh, the people in the comments section, all that kind of stuff. Love this idea, man. I'm so excited for this. I and really it'll am. give us it'll give us an opportunity to play games that sometimes we wouldn't play. Mm -hmm. And uh, also it'll give the people in the in the comment section a way to connect with us and maybe uh, start a dialogue. We may like a game, you might not know, you might not like it, or vice versa. And yeah. I think that's better for the community. So that's something we're gonna implement starting this week. And uh, we're gonna actually be playing a game on PlayStation Plus. Now, this is what we're going to do. Primarily, the games that we're going to choose are going to be on Xbox Live game with gold, games with gold for the Xbox community and PlayStation Plus for people. Who, so that way, you won't have to buy a game. You could probably usually just download it for free unless you already have it through the library that's available to us now. And the first game we're going to play on the Beastly Thoughts Live uh, uh, game club is Fury on PlayStation 4. It's a game that just came out at the beginning of the month. I believe on the fifth or the sixth, and uh, it's a. I played about thirty minutes of this game about a week or two ago. I really enjoyed it, and we're gonna spend some time playing that this week. So when we come back next week, we can have a nice discussion about what we liked about this game, maybe what we didn't like, and give our thoughts on uh, Fury on PlayStation Four. So we encourage you, if you're on PlayStation Four, to go to PlayStation Plus download this game it's free to all playstation plus users play it and that way when we come back next week we can all talk about it together yeah i'm thinking about setting up like a channel in the discord server too for people who are participating in this where we can have a conversation as the, as the week goes on right you know mm -hmm. if, if we're all talking about fury for the entire week it kind of it enhances everybody's knowledge it enhances everybody's interpretation of what we're seeing and it can be this ongoing dialogue throughout the week so i might just make a channel right on the discord in fact i'm going to do that at least for the first couple of weeks see how it goes uh awesome. and we can you know we that way people can talk talk to us we can talk back we can have an actual conversation live right through that discord chat i think that would be a really easy tool uh, to kind of enhance that conversation. I think it's an amazing idea, Beastly. I like really great idea. I can't wait to start. We're going to be doing should we, I, I'd like to try and alternate it between PS4 and Xbox as often as we can. That's, that's perfect. You know, because fine. there's going to be some people who don't have PS4s, there's going to be some people who don't have Xboxes, and I'd like to, you know, be able to do this with both of them. Uh, but obviously there's going to be some AAA titles that come out uh, that we are going to do this. Like No Land No Man's Sky is coming out. I'd love to Absolutely. get this in that program because yeah, a lot of people I'm are sure everyone's going to be buying that. Yeah. yeah, I love this idea, Beastly. I think it's a great way to connect with you know the people who, you know, mm. were 
we connect with in chats and with uh, comments, but actually have a all, all two-way supporters. conversation. Yeah. All there's there's a ton of yeah. people out there who, who watch these videos and support our channels, and uh, they talk to us all day long about everything that we want to talk about. Now I want to talk to them about stuff that we're all involved in and playing. So this is going to be awesome. First week is going to be Fury, so you guys look forward to that. If you yeah. guys are on the Xbox Live's Games with Gold, maybe shoot us some suggestions in the comment section uh, of maybe a game that's available that you guys would like to maybe start on. And mm -hmm. as long as we all have it, I download all my free stuff. I'm one of those guys. doesn't matter if I'm playing it or not. I will turn on my PlayStation Vita just to get that free game. Yeah. Uh, and so... The Xbox oh. stuff I, I already have. I don't know how much you guys download. I'm very active when the first of the month comes around. I don't know. It's part of the way I grew up. First of the month, time to get excited. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you guys let us know in the comments a game maybe that you'd like to see us play for that first week for the Xbox One, and we'll try that next week. Awesome. I'm really I excited. I love that idea, man. That, that's Woo! mega hype. Absolutely yeah, the best. Absolutely the best Good. idea. Yeah. Um. All right. So uh, do you want to talk about what we've been playing a little bit? Well, this week, I, I've kind of gone back and been playing my PlayStation 3. I've been playing some just random, random games. I did some NBA Jam <laughs> on PS3. Played that oh. for a, a full day. I've been, I spent probably I didn't even know there was seven, an NBA Jam for PS3. Yeah, it, it came out, I want to say, 2013. Really? Is it yeah. good? Like, is it like the old Genesis and, and SNES version? No, it's, it's, it's the arcade NBA the Jam. Arcade it's version a, a, from the 90s? Yes, but it's it has the updated roster. It has, uh, you know, all the newer players and good? newer teams. Yes, it's exactly yeah. the same way that we remember it. Yeah, you know, uh, LeBron James, all these guys are in it. That's who I was playing with because I'm from Cleveland, man. I'm from that that city. I mm -hmm. play with the Ohio players, but I've been playing that and just kind of getting back into the old school feel. He's on fire. It's so it's still, it's still the same as it was back in those days, and I put probably about six six to eight hours into. Uh, an RPG called Time and Eternity on PlayStation 3, which is um, a, a third-person anime-style RPG in which when you walk through the world, it's kind of a, a point of view from the back of the character, but it looks like a cartoon running. Mm -hmm. And then when you fight, it is like an anime. The characters look like anime, they sound like anime, and the way they attack you, you can actually move out of the way and do special attacks and level up and find loot. It's really, if you like anime, Time and Eternity so is awesome. Like People. Out. Kinda. If you could, <laughs> really? add, if you could, if you could add tons of layers onto it, because uh -huh. you could actually run up to the enemy, get close, and do all kinds of, you know, physical attacks. And you can jump back and use your shotgun, and oh, okay. you know, it's really, it's really, it's, it's kind of a special game. People have been asking me about that on my channel because a couple of the videos have gone up this week. If you guys don't know what Time and Eternity is, check out the Beastly Gamer channel. You might like it. It's, it's pretty unique. Other than that, we've been watching anime all week. My family's in the living room right now, catching my kids. My daughters and my wife never really got into Rama One Half, and so they're they've been in there all day. Oh they're God! Almost how could they miss that? Everybody loves Top Ramen. Yeah, yeah, Ramen is is fan. Yes, it's fantastic, <laughs> and that's been my week in gaming. What about you, Robbie? Robbie, wow, yeah, coming on hot there. Oh yeah, Robbie, <laughs> Tabasco sauce in my ramen. Sound like I'm Italian or something? Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's in my blood, but uh, anyways, I haven't been playing that much this week. I have been playing one game that I just love so much ever since it got added to backwards compatibility. That is Red Dead Redemption. Oh, Still yeah. love that game. Mm -hmm. I've also been playing uh, Fallout New Vegas on the Xbox One because I also love that game so much, man. It's just, oh, Fallout. Yeah, so so really good. We've, we've gone back a whole generation in one week. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I really haven't, I haven't been on my PS3. And now i got to ask you a few questions. Uh, have these games had... Have you noticed any uh, changes in performance on the Xbox One versus the Xbox 360? As far as frame rate goes, I'd say maybe slightly. It's not a huge difference, and especially graphically, I don't think it's a big jump either, but there's minimal things you can tell, like just the lighting looks better, and I think it just it just looks a little nicer. It does. Yeah. No, Red Dead is just one of those special games. It doesn't, I mean... God, I, I, that's one of the games I really have to get and, and start playing on my Xbox One because it was such an amazing game. To me, oh, Red Dead Redemption, it's trumps, so good. It trumps um, their uh, Grand Theft Auto to me. It's just such a special game. That world, the characters are just really special to me. I loved it. Yeah, so me you've too. been you've been you've been retroing it out this week with those two games. Is anything else been going on in your life? Uh, not really. I see, I I see you, you got I see you got the Heineken. So I'm just trying to make sure there's no stress that you're not talking about. 
No, no, I'm pretty relaxed. Uh, it's been a good week. I mean, I'm shocked too because when backwards compatibility was announced, what was it last E3? I wasn't that excited. I was like, ah, oh, just you know, old games I've played before. But it's so nice to revisit them, like games I loved from the last generation to play them. It's just so awesome, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I think it's awesome too, uh, and, and not just. Not just the stuff that you can just buy and stick in the in, in the system. They've been adding backwards compatible games to the Xbox One games with gold for a while. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. uh, but like games like Borderlands, a, a lot of these old Xbox 360 games that I never even tried now I have on my Xbox One to go back to, and I think it adds so much value to the console. It's really, really an amazing time to be a gamer, Mister Rabbit. You wee wabbit. What have you been playing all week? Destiny, let's move on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I love it. All love our it. guardians. Let's move on. I'm sure you've been having a lot of fun with Destiny. I have been. I mean, it's, it's nothing wrong with saying I love this game, and I don't have to, to explain why it's just fucking awesome. And it I've is been what explaining it is. why for two years. So yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, right. tonight, let's talk about times. the news. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's talk about the news. All right. So. Starting off, Nintendo breaks stock stock market records uh, thanks to Pokemon Go. Anybody surprised by this? No, oh, that game is a worldwide phenomenon. It yeah. doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah, it's it's the the fastest and most downloaded uh, game on iOS, the Apple Store of all time. Yeah, it's been up for like two weeks. How is this possible? Yeah, it's amazing. It's I mean, it's a it's a phenomenon. It it resonates with so many different kinds of people. Uh, you know, it's it's light, it's friendly, it's easy to do, but it also gets you outdoors. It gets you being social with other players. It's just an amazing thing, you know. I don't want to talk about it too much because I feel like there's a bit of a, a overload on Pokemon Go information right now. Yeah. But it is a phenomenon, you know. So uh, is it something, I mean, uh, we don't have to stay on it. I'm just curious. Is it something that you've actually played and tried or have you yeah, stayed away from I've it? Like, it yeah. I haven't like, tried it. I haven't downloaded it. No, no. Kids are playing it. I haven't played it a ton. Uh, but my kids are playing it more than I am, and it's 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 a cool game, man. They're gonna add more features as they go, so you know you'll be able to like battle friends, and you'll be able to trade Pokemon and stuff like that. But right now, it's really basic. But there's some cool features there. You can collect them. You can try and take over gyms, and that's basically what you do. Is is this? Do you guys think this is Nintendo's strategy to become great again? No, I think I this mean, is the right time, right moment kind of thing. I mean, these guys yeah. they had an bottle. amazing idea. I, they had that Ingress game, the guys who developed this game, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically the same game. Uh, but just adding Pokemon made it so much more appealing to so many more players that, you know, it's just, a, it really is. It's it's just an absolute genius idea. I don't mm -hmm. think it has okay. anything to do with Nintendo, to be honest with you. They're just benefiting from it, right? Yeah, Nintendo yeah, well, totally is taking a shit ton of money from this. You know they're making oh, hand yeah. over fist. Yeah. Well, Apple Apple was actually rumored to make more money off of Pokemon Go than Nintendo. They make 30% of the profits off the game, mm -hmm. and they also take their cut for hosting the game on their store. So they're making a ton of money. Nintendo is is the name behind it, but actually Everybody Nintendo, wins. Yeah, it, it's a very, very yeah. successful thing. It's, it's a lightning in a bottle type of thing, and I'm going to resist it to the very end. I didn't get on Facebook. Until 2012. You know why? Because I'm a wow. fucking cancer. I said, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, man, you got to get on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I was I like, look, I can look at the blue pages in a book. I don't want to look at this crap. Dude, when I first joined <laughs> Facebook, I was so psyched because I'm like, oh, man, I haven't seen this person in forever. I haven't seen that person in forever. And then as you get there, it's like, oh, all this person ever does is play fucking some stupid ass video game on Facebook and sends oh, everybody bro. on their friends list. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh man, this person is actually really annoying. And now I kind of remember that. Yeah, this is person is pretty annoying from high school too. Why? Why the fuck did I want to catch up to begin with? <laughs> oh god, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really right. analogy. I, I so, my wife uses Facebook and she uses it well. I, she's got a question about like she needs a plumber. She goes on Facebook. Who in the local area knows a good plumber? And she gets a you know good plumber. Right, like she uses it so much wow. better than I do. I I was using it just to catch up on a friendly basis, but she uses it as like a a list of friends that can instantly give her information. It's like a local Google. Fucking well, good for the people for, for the people watching. Brian just alluded to the way that he met his wife. Okay, and he didn't tell the whole story. Uh, his wife was actually looking, <laughs> looking for, for a plumber, a plumber. And, and somebody said, "I know a guy." I'm like, hey, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god! 
<laughs> I'm sure it happened just like that too. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they've been happy ever since. You know, he nicknamed her Peach. Moving <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I, I, I want to stay away from Pokemon until this fervor dies down. Maybe yeah. I'll try it out. I don't want to get too excited about it because I see everybody else's. I don't want to become that. It's like if you see a group of zombies and you know they took a bite of this one thing that looks fantastic, you want to just hold off until maybe you don't have any choice and you take a bite and you become a zombie. That's my, my idea on it. So, continuing on, Robbie, you want to hit us with the next little bit of news? Yes, of it's course a I do. Me, Mario. Stop it. We're moving on. <laughs> it's a me. It's in my Bro. mind, right? Mario. So I can just... <laughs> <laughs> right at the <laughs> front yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's the, just... <laughs> the two All terabyte right. Xbox One S will be available August 2nd for $399. Two terabytes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty... Shocking, isn't it? Because the most expensive is coming out first. And Briar's losing his marbles. It's oh, me, Mario! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's great. That is great. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. It, it's okay to have fun, Briar. Two terabyte Xbox One S, 399 What do you guys think about that? Awesome. <laughs> no, not awesome? Okay. Three ninety nine. $400? Yeah, it is a little steep, but man, that thing is so beautiful. A little steep it's, for a three-year-old console? It's a beautiful console. Boy, do I don't want? care if it looks like a goddamn Ferrari and paying $400 for it. <laughs> it's got a 4K Blu-ray player. I don't player. care if this looks like what El McPherson. I ain't paying $400 for it's it. It's got HDR, 4K Blu-ray. Uh, I'll take the $200 version for $200, please, Alex. <laughs> So oh, let me ask you. you. Let me ask you. So the Xbox One S dropping early next month. Uh, the the base version is what two ninety nine or is it two seventy nine? What is it? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That comes with a five hundred gig hard drive, and so for another hundred bucks, they give you a gig and a half. Can you replace the hard drive on this thing, or is it like the Xbox One where you can't do it? Uh, I think you have to get an external drive. Yeah, you ah, external storage. drive though. That's no big deal. You can get an external drive for a hell of a lot cheaper than one hundred fifty bucks. I got, bucks. I got, yeah, I got a couple four terabytes in there, four terabytes, and I, I spent seventy dollars for four ter, four terabytes. So, yeah. I don't know if this thing will be able to support that much size, but if it, if it's like everything else in my house, it will be able to. It's got All a right, pack. yeah, that's Would right. I, uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Move on again. I don't know, man. Four hundred dollars <laughs> for a three year old console—that's just st- steep. I understand it's got some new features to it. It's got a bigger hard drive, but. Upping the hard drive is not like a. Apple does this too, and it drives me crazy. You give me more hard drive space, I can go to Best Buy and look at the prices of hard drives, and I know that the difference in cost between a one terabyte and a two terabyte is like twenty dollars. That big, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so when yeah. you come at me and try and charge me a hundred dollars for one terabyte, and that's the only difference that I can see in this console, I want to tell you to sit and spin. You know, like no, absolutely. You know, I that's, agree. that's ridiculous. Just get an external drive. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I used my old PS4 hard drive for. I cleaned it up, reformatted it, and that's for my Xbox One now. Because I put a two terabyte inside yeah. my PS4, and that's really the best thing to use it for. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually saw, I want to say it was a one terabyte SSD for real cheap lately. And I'm thinking about sliding that in my PS4, because I've really wanted to put a SSD in my PS4. Slide it in, bro. That's where it's Slide supposed it right to Slide it right in, baby. I uh, and I'm interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments too. Like, are you do you own an Xbox One? Does the S entice you, or are you planning on picking it up? Let us know what you think of yeah, you know, price point too. I, I'm actually buying it. I'm getting one for my wife. Uh, she she likes the design of it. She doesn't have an Xbox One. Sell only out. One. Sell out. You were just talking shit about it. Sell out, and now you're buying. Oh you man, I'm buying one too. Talking about. I'm buying one too. That's both of you are fucking sell out. I, I'm no. not. I said that four hundred dollars is ridiculous for a three year old console. Kind of pissed yeah. about three hundred dollars too. To be honest with you, I would love to see this thing hit two hundred dollars, but I, I'm buying a four K TV for the living room. I want a four. I want something that can display in four K for Netflix, for Hulu, for you know 4K whatever DVD, four K yeah. Blu Ray, yeah, four K Blu Ray. This to me is kind of the best option because I get well, a lot more functionality than just buying a four K Blu Ray drive. Well, let me just say this for Robbie, for all the haters out there who hate and on it's haters white, and shit. So we know white is right, therefore, yeah. Absolutely. I like small <laughs> white things that you can stick stuff in. 
Oh. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well done. Comment. Well, I want to give you like a virtual high five. Oh, <laughs> well done. Uh-huh. Now check it out, Rob. If you were to go to Best Buy or any you know store that sells hardware like this, and you were to try to find a, a 4K Blu-ray disc or 4K Blu-ray uh, player, you're going to pay more than you would for the Xbox One S. Plain and simple. So the Xbox One S is the least expensive 4K Blu-ray that you can get right now. And on top of that, it happens to be an Xbox One at the same time. It's kind of a no-brainer for people. I don't have a 4K TV. I got a 60-inch 1080p, and I'm trying to find a spot in my room for it because pretty soon there's going to be a 4K TV in my living room. Yeah. Plain and simple. The, the Blu-ray it's, drive, the 4K Blu-ray drive is what sells me this thing, to be honest with you. Not the fact that it's, it's an really Xbox awesome. One. Yeah. It's a 4K Blu-ray drive, and I'm going to pay out the asshole no matter where I get it from. Yeah, that's well, enticing. Definitely. And this one plays and, Netflix, 4K Netflix. It plays 4K Hulu. It plays 4K Amazon TV. It plays, you know, I can get 4K content finally in my living room on a box. Yeah, and, and see, that's I'm going to hook my connect up to it, too. Do a little 4K. Ooh, Chuck it and jive it, if you know what I mean. You know, move get, get jiggy with it like, <laughs> like Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Like Will Smith told me to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, Repeatedly. Um, my, my wife. <laughs> She told me, and, and she watches the show. She watches every week after I put it up on the channel and everything. Uh, she knows that when we get this 4K Xbox One, that pretty much I'm going to be gifting her my old one, even mm. though I'm buying this mm. one for her. Because all the, the new 4K goodies are going to be in this 4K version of the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that's going to be connected in the TV, my big TV in the living room. That's where all the stuff that I play is going to be at. So it's going to be hers. It is going to be yours, baby. I'm going to play it probably more than you. You're like and, a Homer Simpson giving him his wife a uh, bowling ball with Homer written on it. Absolutely. That's the same. <laughs> got thing. it. Got it. Simpson said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on with our news, a leaked uh, trophy list suggested Dead Rising 1 is being remastered for the PlayStation 4. Excited or nay? Uh, I don't really like Dead Rising. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. Like any of them. I didn't like 1, 2, or 3, but I'll... I don't know. I'll give it a chance, I guess. I, I'll tell you why. Now, Dead Rising is for a very particular... Mm. Uh, zombie I'm a zombie. This morning when I made Banana Pudding, we were watching Shaun oh, of the though. Dead. Yes. Shaun of the Dead and Banana Pudding. Try That's how we were... Okay. Yeah. Never um, mind. Zombie movies that have a hor- just horror in, in them and no comedy are the ones that I usually you know, gravitate towards. Mm. This game is not the traditional zombie game because no, there's so not. much shit to laugh at. Mm-hmm. And so it takes away kind of that fear factor when you're wading through 500 zombies with a lawnmower, you know, with a dead it body. It's boring. Uh, There's just so many. I'm like, this is, I don't know. It's just boring. Yeah. That's just I've, never, I've never been a huge fan of uh, the Dead Rising series, but I'd be interested to see what this remaster looks like because there are remasters and then there are remasters. So whatever they're planning on doing, if it looks great, if it looks like a game that, you know, actually deserves to be on PS4, I'll probably pick it up and give it a shot. disclaimer for you. Remaster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that could be a bunch of different things. I, I yeah, actually liked the first one. I thought it was pretty fun. It was like the first game where I'd seen so many enemies on the screen, and I get to run over them with a lawnmower. Like, that That was a first. I had yeah, fun you, with you it. You know, I, I actually kind of dug, like, the time thing that they did, too, is you had to get it all done, like, in a certain amount of time. Uh, and if you know if you didn't, then you'd fail. And certain missions were available for sh- short periods of time. I thought that was all cool. I actually liked the first one more than I liked the one that came out on the Xbox three, Xbox One, um, which was graphically a powerhouse at the time, but it just wasn't as much fun as the first one. So I'm Absolutely. not gonna play it again, though. I feel like I've kind of you're that out game. of it. Yeah, I played that all game. Right. I'm ready it's, for it, the it. the new new. Congratulations, congratulations, Dead Rising. You just played yourself. All right, so another little bit of news, and actually something that that was just earth shattering. I know. Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to the PlayStation Four on October 11th, and it will include all the previously released downloadable content. Thoughts, uh, gentlemen? Awesome. I actually made a video about this, and uh, I'd like I have a few things to say, but first I want to hear what you guys have to, have to say about this. Uh, about time. I mean, it's got to be frustrating, right? When you have timed exclusives that aren't available on the PS4 till a whole year. Like, that's a long time to wait, especially for a game like this. That is awesome. Like, I really love this game a lot, and I'm glad that people are getting awesome. the chance to play it. Yeah. 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 Well, 
they they've included tons of DLC, new skins, new uh, weapon skins, uh, new packages, and they've also included this new PlayStation VR functionality for one of the new story DLC missions. Uh, and you're actually going to be able to walk through the the Croft Mansion and that play this crazy. entire thing through PlayStation VR. Is that exciting at all to you guys? They add something like that for That's free? Hugely exciting. That's nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm man, really that's an extra value. I already bought the game on Xbox One. Now I'm thinking about buying it on the PS4 again. <laughs> I actually got, I, I actually had a debate with someone who watches our show, Miss K. Uh, without so much a debate, but she made a video and she was asking why a person would get excited about this game and not actually buy it on the Xbox One. And for the people who, out there in the comments who may be thinking, Beastly, you are kind of, you know, you have an Xbox One. Why don't you buy it on the Xbox One? Mm -hmm. I'll make it real simple. For my Xbox One, I, I buy exclusives on it, for the most part. Every mm -hmm. game that I have on the Xbox One, from Ori and the Blind Forest to Halo 5 to State of Decay these to Titanfall, these games, uh, Dead Rising 3, all exclusives, games I can't get anywhere else besides a PC, which I'm not going to sell out that much, Robbie, and go and play on PC. <laughs> um, and so when Tomb Raider was announced and they said it was a timed exclusive and we found out it was coming to the PS4, I made up in my mind then that I was, I was going to wait. At that time last year, I was buying tons of games, games which I still haven't played, and I'm actually happy I waited because now I'm going to get all this DLC. You're going to get the season pass content, which is thirty extra dollars. You're going to get VR and possibly a, a more grand ultimate design with the PlayStation 4 version. And so, with, when it comes to the PS4, I buy my multiplats there. I buy PlayStation 4 exclusives, and when it comes to the Xbox One, I get my exclusives there. So, for anybody who was confused about that. Uh, or the reason that I'm excited about it. Now you know. And no, I, can confirm, I played this game on Xbox One. I can confirm it's really good. I'm thinking about buying it again for the because I didn't play any of the DLC. I didn't even finish the game on Xbox One. If me neither. Like this game is really good. I don't think it's quite as good as Uncharted, but it's 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 up there. You know, it's really good. Uh, my mouse is dying. I'm trying to plug it in. But yeah, I mean, this oh. is this is a good value, straight up. Hundred percent. Yeah. Give give the mouse some cheese. Mm -hmm. Uh. Robbie, you want to continue on with this Destiny news? Because I don't know what the hell the name Destiny of this gun news. is. Destiny news? Oh, I don't need no Ooh. sneaking. Not like we're talking about that damn game enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Destiny Rise of Iron pre-orders will get, come with the Iron Gallowing, which is basically a Gallahorn version of a Sparrow. Yeah. As well as the next reveal is slated to come from Gamescom 2016. Mm-hmm. Yep. Rise of Iron. Now, so the uh, Gallowing, now if you pre-order... Uh, Rise of Iron, you get the Galar Wing and the Galar Horn. The Iron Galar Wing and the Iron Galar Horn. The Galar Horn, you'll still have to earn in a quest. If you don't pre-order, you'll get the gold version that we had in year year one and year two. Or we currently have just an upgraded version. Yep. If you pre-order, you'll get a special skin for it called the Iron Galar Horn, which looks like the Nazis built it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to say it. Uh-huh. And. Wow. The Galar Wing is the same thing. You'll be able to buy the Galar Wing, which is just a Galar Horn themed sparrow, from the Tess Eververse Trading Company. But if you pre order, you'll get the Iron Galar Wing, which is a different skin of it, for free right when you buy Green. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, will, will the Nazis give me uh, this skin, or do I, will they try to take mine? What's, what's the yeah, you know, they're to much more open than they used to be. I think you'll find that they're much more friendly. Believe it or not, I know this. My wife, <laughs> nice my, wife is half, my wife is half German. Can mm -hmm. you believe it? I didn't it? think the Nazis were ever friendly, but I guess they are now. Who knew? <laughs> more friendly than you can imagine, Robbie. <laughs> the more you know. I don't know. Maybe right. it's just my perspective, but they seem nice to me. <laughs> no, no, I highly doubt that. <laughs> A new 13 minute. God damn it. This okay. probably isn't even something I should joke about. <laughs> this is no. really. Uh, <laughs> This is, the beastly, this is the Beastly Thoughts show, okay? <laughs> we, we, we're going to be here when the fucking world ends. When the aliens come down, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking shit about them as I look out the window. We'll be in okay? our like nuclear underground bunker talking about video games. We're still like, like, cockroaches. Still there? We'll, still be, we'll still be alive like the cockroaches making fun of all the other cockroaches. We'll have yeah. like four <laughs> arms. We'll all be kind of like have mutated legs. We'll still be talking about video games. And, and it'll start like this. Welcome to Beastly Thoughts episode, episode 1071. I am the Beastly Gamer. Briar Rabbit's sick and Ro Robbie is eating the last can of sardines. Anybody <laughs> left up there? If, if you're left, you're screwed. All right. Let's build so, a wall, gentlemen. 
build the wall, <laughs> build the yep. ceiling. Fuck that. A new 13 minute <laughs> gameplay video has been released for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Additionally, those who pre order the game will receive a reimagined version of Terminal. From Modern Warfare, dude. They already remade yeah. this map, man. Seven times. But it's a completely different map now. Have you guys seen the image for it? Yeah, no. I, it's I, a I space station. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's the same layout, right? I guess so. Yeah. I, I mean, come on. Like this is getting ridiculous. Like they keep remaking these maps. <laughs> yeah. Like how many times exactly. do you want to play the same map? This is why I. This is one of the reasons that Black Ops Two or Three put, pissed me off so much because they've had, they've remade the same map for each fucking game. Like, yeah, how many um, times do I want to play Nuketown? God damn it. I'm Nuketown, sick of that, man. We were play, I'm we sick of Nuketown, Nuketown too. Last night, yeah. Yeah. Nuketown on I'm Black Ops Nuketown. 3. It seems like when you play Black Ops 3, you're restricted to three fucking maps. Nuketown and two others, which, which names I don't know. Robbie, you tell me because you know every fucking name. But we played Actually, Nuketown last night like six times in 12 matches. I was like, holy shit. The exact same map. Now, if they were to actually add parts of Terminal that you that were un- inaccessible years ago, like when you walk inside the terminal and you go up the escalator, yeah. there's a bunch of trash right there on the right side. If they move that out of the way and create a whole new area for you to walk into and turn around, and maybe that would be interesting. But if it's the exact I same shit. I played the shit out of Terminal in Modern Warfare 2. And then I played a lot of it in Modern Warfare. Warfare 3. I don't want to yeah. play it anymore, man. I'm done with Terminal. I know that map like the back of my ass. I don't want to play that map ever now, again. How do you get to know the back of your? Because look, I I got. I was going to question it's that really too, hard. but I thought you know let's just two move mirrors, on. two mirrors, two <laughs> two mirrors. So are you holding them or do you position them? Holy mm-hmm. shit! Yeah, I have two well, mirrors, man. It's all don't about... give away the secrets. <laughs> don't give away the secrets. Everybody out there is going to know shit like the back of their ass. You know, we're supposed to have questions. We don't need to know the back of our ass. All I right, don't. So... Yeah. <laughs> Nvidia, <laughs> Nvidia has announced a new Titan X video card starting at get this twelve hundred dollars, twice the price of a ten eighty. This is a lot. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, what does this come with? Does this come with like uh, a scholarship to your favorite college? Uh, I free... heard it, it's three PS fours just duct taped together. If you buy with three PS fours, <laughs> oh wow. boy. That's wow. that's well, expensive, man. Twelve hundred dollars. I'm sure. Uh, oh. Better be able to run everything like on ultra and you know make your ultra keyboard. Ultra two hundred frames per second. Yeah, I swear to God, like Jesus, this thing is no. It's there are enthusiasts powerful, like, out there, right, that will buy this and they they will run it, man. I think it's smart on Nvidia, man. Have that top notch product out there for the the super elite. You know, there are people there are people who produce content, there are people who are just love games, you know, they'll, they'll buy it, man. Twelve hundred dollars is they're probably psyched to see it, you know? Well, this is very telling for the gaming community because a lot of people are, you know, second guessing whether or not people are going to spend that premium for things like VR. If this thing sells, it's really it's gonna look good for everybody, you know. But you know, it's I'm also not- a good uh test bed for new technologies. You know, they if they can produce a product for twelve hundred dollars you know, they can put a lot more R and D, a lot more hardware into that. That stuff is going to trickle down to the, you know, the less expensive stuff over time. It's, a, it's good for everybody, frankly. Hmm, ultimately, well, one day when I when I grow up, I'll uh, become a PC player. Mm. I bought a fucking gaming PC. When are you going to grow up, PC gamer? Let's do it. I don't know. Don't do I'm it. fucking forty. I don't want to grow up. I'm a toy. Is it not worth kid. it? I wanted to be a Toys R Us kid, and that was before any of you guys were even fucking born. Okay, I've never heard that in my life. Well, you've Brian never heard exactly that. Exactly what I'm talking. No, about. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. This is the first time I'm ever hearing this. From toys to trains to video games, the greatest toy store there is. What? I don't want to grow up, cause maybe if I did. I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us kid. God damn it. Yep. That's you know what? That's some grown man shit. It's hard for me to say that with a straight face. But <laughs> truly you have to be a grown man now to even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Toys R Us, Lionel Kitty City. This is the, the hallmark of the eighties, okay? Seventies, eighties, the time the land before time for you, Robbie. How do we get to talking about a Titan X to this? That's a good question. I wanted to be- <laughs> All right. I was the same thing. <laughs> so 
I didn't know this, and this makes me want to stop the Beastly Thought Show. If I didn't love you guys as much as I do, I probably would. New oh. trailers have been released this week for movies. For the Wonder Woman movie, Justice League, and Kong Skull Island. I did not know this. The Are you King talking Kong about movie? full trailers? A yep. new King yeah. Kong movie. Yep, the Kong Skull Island. This has been announced a while ago, yeah. Have Is you, it a sequel to the one tournaments? that came out? Peter Jackson? Yeah. I think it's a separate story, but it's basically, you know, the same kind of setup and everything. And yeah, I feel you like go that to an island, there's dinosaurs to be retold and for the 18th time. King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it looks cool. If you, you guys haven't seen the trailer, though. It looks really cool. Is, like, is Wonder there, Woman looks awesome. And yeah. Is there a terminal in Kong Skull Island? Because we've seen this shit before. Terminal, right? How many times are you got to. How many times do I got to shoot people from Terminal in, on Kong Island? Yeah. That, I would play it. And frankly, if all of a sudden King Motherfucking Kong showed up on Terminal. <laughs> on the moon in space <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be cool that would change the gameplay up somewhat significantly and he's fighting a dinosaur <laughs> he snaps his neck yeah so I didn't get a chance to see any of these trailers Robbie why don't you uh, did they, did they, first of all they look exciting because after the the whole letdown of what people perceived as a horrible movie with Batman v Superman a lot of people were wondering whether or not Wonder, Wonder Woman it. would be so I did too <laughs> I loved yeah, the movie. Didn't love it. Didn't love it. Liked it, though. Had fun well, watching it. Th- this is how you know if whether or not you liked it or loved it. If uh, Marvel didn't make any movies and that movie came out, it would have been one of the greatest movies of the year. But the bottom line is Marvel does make movies, yeah. and, and all their movies are like the shit. And so it's really hard to live up to that. But I really enjoyed the Batman v Superman film. I thought Lex Luthor should have probably died within the first five minutes. I thought that they probably could have made five other movies with all the content in the very first one. Mm, yeah, definitely. Like it felt you know, like the, it felt like it a little was, Spider-Man three where there's just too much shit. Going yeah, on, it, so was they a, it was a death, the death and return of Superman. It was Zod's DNA. It was Hitman. Doomsday oh, okay. and Batman and all kinds of crap. But mm-hmm. did did Wonder Woman back around to my question? See how I did that? Was Wonder Woman? Did it look like it's going to be a good film? Yeah, Wonder Woman looked really cool. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that had like a lot of like World War II kind of things going on. It looked very cool. Kong Skull Island looked great. The only one that was kind of underwhelming was Justice League because you see Batman and Aquaman and Cyborg and all of them. Like there wasn't really anything that just happened. They're just kind of like They're- doing simple talk and saying, I'm forming a team, blah, blah, blah. There wasn't anything that really happened. Like you're not missing anything so- with that. Yeah, well, no. I'm, I'm 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 guessing that movie probably won't do too well from the sounds of what people are saying online. I haven't seen the oh, trailer. Oh, 100% but... well, no matter what. I'm sure that movie will be a smash success, but, yeah, the trailer wasn't anything special. The tease. Question. Uh, did Wonder Woman, did that look like a prequel to Batman v Superman? Was it set back in the day? Uh, yeah, it did. I think it is actually it's set in World War II. I okay, so that might explain, you know, her desire to meet up with Batman and Superman years later or something or give her some kind of plot plot point or plot twist exciting all right so our let it's a short shorter show than usual but we'll talk about some some shit like normal two new sonic games have been announced this weekend the first is sonic mania a 2d reimagining of classic sonic titles and levels all in one game spring 2017 for ps4 xbox one and pc god damn i couldn't be more hyped for this what they're doing with the sonic franchise right now it's breathtaking it's been fucking gold for like the last 10 years Hit after oh, yeah. fucking hit. Yeah. I can't wait to get the next one. <laughs> Knuckles? Two of them now, too. Yeah. Waste your money on two of them. And, and the other one is yet untitled. A new untitled 3D Sonic game is in development for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the Nintendo NX, which might be the most exciting part of this entire bit of news. That is it the Nintendo first time we've NX, heard that? It, is, it will be released holiday 2017. So, uh... Sega did come out recently. One of their PR guys said that they they do understand uh, that Sonic has been lackluster. The last like eight games have been that pretty sucks. Yeah, and and they said they want to instead of uh, continuing to pump out game after game after game, they want to take their time and develop stories and characters that are engaging and make Sonic great again. So my guess is they are working with the Donald Trump campaign to make Sonic great again. Did we really just go to uh, Trump on I, that? I, I Move on. on. Move on. I don't, I don't know if they can make Sonic great again. To me, to be honest, Sonic died when he, like, when he got on his knees in front of Mario. It was over. When he got down on his knees, yeah, that's when he, you know, he knew he'd fucked up. Yeah, that's when he knew he fucked up. <laughs> it was, it was over. I mean, what's the last good Sonic game for you, Briar? Sonic CD. Uh, Sonic was a. 
time and a place kind of thing. He's like, you know, the attitude, side scrollers. They've They're tried not timeless hard. like Mario is, in my opinion. You're right. You, know, You're right. you either <laughs> you either were there for that and like Sonic as a character, or you weren't. I, I think there are some okay Sonic games that have come out in the last ten years. In all honesty, like there were a Sonic couple of recent ones. Yeah, Sonic Generations but is they, okay. I have like, that. It, by no means are they what Sonic One and Two were like culturally. Oh my god! I don't Sonic think it ever can be again. So I almost kind of think it's beating a dead horse. Yeah, I agree. Trying to keep yeah. this franchise around based on what it meant to people in the nineties. But they don't have the developers. They don't have the gameplay. They haven't moved on like Mario has, which is ridiculous to think that Nintendo is moving on better than anything else. That is crazy, <laughs> right? Wow! But, how, like it's not. It hasn't it? translated well to other systems, other things. Like, and they've gone to weird places with it. Like you know, having Sonic interact with a human girlfriend was just weird. Hey, that's some freaky shit. Hey, I'm. I, hey, to each their own. As long as you know, whatever you want to do, but yeah. Yeah, weird, yeah, right? Yeah, like, kind of fun. furry, a little bit furry. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit furry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, Sega, if you're listening to the Beastly Thoughts show, which I know you are, you have some pretty good titles out there that exist in your in your portfolio from years ago. Bring back Streets of Rage. You know, that was a, an incredible uh, side-scrolling game that you just let die slowly over time. I uh, hear they're working on a new Echo the Dolphin for younger generation. You probably don't know what that is. And another game that I can't imagine translating well to 3D. Well, Echo on, on the Dreamcast was actually pretty damn pretty good. I was actually that? have that. Yeah, it was 3D and it was it was pretty awesome. Um, but hey, I mean, I liked Echo from the Sega Genesis and even Echo Jr. But Sega has some, some pretty good franchises that they're just not using. And yep. uh, for me, probably their, their best franchise that they ever had was the Streets of Rage franchise. They can bring that back out today and make something great instead of just slapping Sonic around and just, you're going to work. No! Here's three chili dogs. Get your ass to work. Bow! And shooting, uh, you, you putting out a crappy game that nobody wants to play. You, I mean, Ooh, Sonic Colors. Wait, I, I want to go back to the you work for chili dogs thing. Who works for chili dogs? Who are you hanging out with that's working for chili dogs? Just Sonic. Just Sonic, he's the only guy. <laughs> he's the only one. <laughs> All right. Well, the chat says uh, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. That's true. Yeah. Confirmed. He must be pretty old. Factual. Wow. Factual. It's, 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 old. It's, ab- it's absolutely true. Genesis does. They died, and Nintendo's still alive. So Ouch. they do do <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. They're swimming and, around in a grave, and Nintendo doesn't do that, at least not yet. I mean, that's another good game. Uh, Altered Beast. See a second Genesis on the ground. Rise from your grave. They're making a new Altered Beast. <laughs> is it out? Actually, really? is it already out? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it might have. Yeah, yeah. There's. It's either out or it's coming out soon. Oh wow. Yeah, they're making a new cool. Altered Beast. Now that's a good franchise. Man, that arcade game used to kill me. Kill my quarters anyway. Couldn't do laundry, man. God damn it. I, got See, I want a chili dog now. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> chili right. dogs. Dude, I'm hungry. Because Sonic the Hed- Sonic the Hedgehog, he loves chili dogs, man. Is that I like chili dogs too. Is that did I miss something in Sonic the Hedgehog that he likes chili dogs? Yeah, you you totally did. You missed the animated series. Ah, and I didn't, unfortunately for me. And I heard his Steve Urkel voice. I think he was he was voiced by Steve Urkel too. Get out of here, and, really? Oh yeah, he I would I would have gone with a uh, James Earl Jones for Sonic the Hedgehog. Me too, man. Right? I feel like that's uh, that's the right tenor. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay money just to hear James Earl Jones say "chili dog." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, uh, I bought those old Game Boy Advance Advance cartridges that had two episodes of the Sonic anime on it. Game Boy Advance years ago came out with their animated series, and it, they had like five or six different. Uh, cartoons on them and you could buy them for 15 bucks and they're basically like vhs tapes put them inside your gba you turn it on you could watch a whole cartoon and when i was driving around working here years ago i caught up on the old sonic cartoons by watching them on my gba and boy what a time that was amazing Whoa. i'm sorry robbie am i fucking putting you to sleep talking about sonic <laughs> and chili dog no no, no. Well, wake your ass up there i'm wake. <laughs> good <sighs> So I'm fine. now that we're here, guys, and, and, and now that we have you guys' attention, 
We're here to tell you all about the futures of the Beastly Thoughts show. We don't have We're going anybody's to talk about- attention. <laughs> oh, okay. <We're> fine. <laughs> Lost okay. it. We lost that uh, 20 okay. minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when we started talking about Sonic, let's, let's people just like well, camp. There, a, a it, it, all started, it all went wrong when I said, Welcome to Beastly, and it's gone. <laughs> Everybody's out. <laughs> Wait for God after that. <laughs> this is, it started sounding like the, uh, the Peanuts adults. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Guys, stay with us, okay? Last night. <laughs> last. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Last night, I went to the movies and I saw a really, really good film. It's called Lights Out. Mm-hmm. Uh, took, took Kate and all four of the kids and Kate's pregnant and all I'm doing is looking at that price tag when I paid to get everybody in and realizing in a couple of years I gotta buy another fucking ticket but leaving that to the back of my Man, mind lights, lights Out was a very no it was a great it was a great mistake it, well, it was great at the moment a few years later <laughs> yeah, and then you're like shit I gotta pay for it now maybe not so much but the good part is my kids in a couple of years will be moving the fuck out so I love you son I hope you're enjoying your new place let's get, get that high five going again ow <laughs> ow, ow! Get the fuck out I love you now all you I gotta do is so make sure my wife doesn't bring any more animals into the house <laughs> I know, Briar, you used to really get out and see movies a lot. There's a film Mm -hmm. called Lights Out that was based on a short film that was done, I believe, years ago in 2006 uh, about this demon or this – I'm not going to spoil it. This creature that lives in the darkness, if you turn off your lights, it's right there. You can see it like the silhouette in your room moving around. But you turn the lights on, it's gone. Very good movie. Very, very enjoyable. I don't know the names of any of the actresses. Um or actors, there was like two guys and two girls, very confined uh, space. Uh, the whole movie took place inside of this big old house, but it was very, very scary. One of the, the best parts of the movie was the fact that it was a good movie, and the worst part was that a whole fucking middle school walked into the theater, and every oh, one of these oh. fucking kids, look, you know it's bad when you're sitting next to a six-year-old girl, and there's a three-year-old girl next to you, and they're looking at the teenagers like, what the fuck, man? These kids came in there and they were like doing cartwheels down the stairs in the dark, screaming. There had to be at least 20 to 30 kids on the side over there just playing and laughing. Oh, and it got to the point where everybody in the fucking theater turned into a snake. It was like a snake whisperer. They were all just saying, shh. Everyone in the whole theater was telling these kids Shut to the fuck up. Yeah. It was very, very disrespectful. Did they kick them out? No, they didn't. They should have. It was very frustrating, you know, walking out of the theater. Even my wife was like, those fucking bastards. I was like, I know, babe, it'll be all right. We'll watch it again when it comes out on Blu-ray. But if you guys are going to the theater anytime soon, see Lights Out. Very scary movie. If you like scary movies that aren't, you know, filled with illegitimate jump scares, don't listen to Briar Rabbit. Briar, you need to go see Lights Out. (laughs) Grab your balls, tuck them tight, sit down, and watch that film. Talk those balls. In. A lot of people don't know. I used to do a, a movie review podcast, right? Yeah. And uh, the guy who I was like second fiddle on the podcast, the guy who ran the podcast would choose the movies, right? Yep. And he loved freaking horror movies so much. So anytime a new horror movie would come out, it, we'd have to go see it. And I hate horror movies. I just don't <laughs> like sitting in a theater fucking being scared. <laughs> right? your it's just not enjoyable to me. It's the best. And so I would go. Sit all the way in the back of the theater, right? And then I'd be on my <laughs> phone the whole time. And every time it started getting scary, I'd look down at my phone and I'd start Googling something like, eh, eh. And then I'd go <laughs> during the mess. day, right? I'd have to go during the day. And I'd so often I'd be sitting in a completely empty theater. The only reason they're showing that movie is because I they sold one ticket to me. <laughs> and, <that's the> <laughs> and I'm sitting in that fucking dark ass theater all by myself, like <laughs> I gotta ask a question though, okay? Because my son Brandon is a very, very chickety boy when it comes to horror uh-huh. films. You sit all the way in the back so the fear hits you last or something. No, I sit there. On? If if the theater is full, like if there's people in there, I sit there so I can use my phone without pissing anybody off. Because gotcha. I do not want to focus my attention on this movie, which is designed to 
elicit the response out of my body of fear, sweat, and possibly diarrhea. I got well, <laughs> shit. That last one hasn't happened quite yet, but damn. <laughs> I just don't like them. I don't like it. I I used to like them. Like back in the eighties, I loved horror movies. I loved like Jason and Freddy and Halloween and you know whatever. Loved them. So, As so I got older, like, like I just it's don't been ruined want by to. Jump scares. I don't no. I don't want to inflict that experience on myself anymore. Like the <laughs> increased heart rate and the stress and the goddamn. I got enough stress in my life. I don't want to inflict it upon myself on purpose. <laughs> I'm yelling at the women. Don't separate. Don't no. <laughs> Stay in a fucking gather. You can team up on this asshole and beat him. But if you just if one of you goes upstairs, one of you goes down to the basement, you're both gonna fucking die. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a fucking horror movie? <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. That, for for the guys who want to know, for me, well, Briar he loves zombies. He loves zombie movies, but he doesn't like horror movies, which is weird. What? For me, because usually they're not actually horror movies. Oh yeah, my just, god! Most just zombie movies eating. aren't about zombies. They're just a zombies are just a stress event to to catalyze the interaction of the group. Even like The Walking Dead, most most zombie movies are like even like if you go back all the way back to Night of the Living Dead, it, the it's zombies are cursory. interaction of the people. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's an excuse to get these people in this in this house with a stressful thing around them and they have to interact and see how they're going to deal with this stressful thing. Zombie movies are very rarely horror movies. Yeah. Well, to me, my favorite genre of film is horror, but if you want to like find a horror movie, you can't do it on Netflix because it's nothing but crap. So you got to go through your old VHS mm -hmm. and DVD yeah. collection to find something good. Oh, did you um, hear that the last company make VHS is not making them anymore? Oh really? Yeah, the last I think it if, if I understand that story right, the last company that was making VCRs stopped producing them. VCRs or video yeah. the tapes? VCRs, the Rip. the the deck. Oh god. Yeah. Rest in peace. I feel like a, a piece of my heart just got torn away. Is this real? Is this real life right now? It's okay, guys. <laughs> when we're together, I'll make you feel better. We will all go see a horror movie together in theaters when we're together. Absolutely. Briar, you can sit in the middle. It'll be one of those vanilla Oreos. <laughs> yeah, sit right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, both it, your it, hands. <laughs> I'm like, you're not getting out of here. We're going to push you back and keep going here. Yeah, we're like, you're not leaving yet. <laughs> I get to hold the bucket of popcorn. What, <laughs> yeah. You guys can both reach in. <laughs> whatever you guys do, don't waste your time seeing Tarzan. Tarzan. It was the worst movie of the year. Absolutely what? atrocious. That yes. wasn't even yeah. an option, actually. That was never an issue. Yeah. <laughs> never, never even occurred well, to me to it was, go. <laughs> it was, it was one of those situations, Briar, where you have a wife and she says, "I want to go to a movie," and you say, "Well, what do you want to see?" And she's like, "Tarzan." You're like, "Shit!" But you smile and you say, "Sure." And yeah, then when you go, great. and by the time you leave, and you look at her, and she says, "Shit," <laughs> <laughs> because she knows it was fucking horrible. Yeah, it was. It was very, very. It was a terrible wow. movie. We saw that two weeks ago. Really, my friend told me it was actually pretty good. I love the old Tarzan, though the animated one. That was a nice, really good movie. But, oh yeah, that Disney one was pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, Don't even start singing that. I get emotional when I hear that song. I wanna, Stop I it! Put a, no. This day on now. Oh my god, that song makes me like cry when I hear. It. I'm not even kidding you. That's how you uh, my real identity. That's a never-ending story for some reason. I cry when I hear that too. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I, it's so sad. Like I don't know. I just. I tear up as soon as I hear it. Don't even sing it. On the rainbow is the answer All to right, I think that's going to do it for the Beastly Thought Show, episode 118. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know where this show went so wrong. We used to be so professional. What happened? When are you professional? <laughs> I left up look, look, I don't have any pants on. And so my professionalism is in my pockets. And pants are right there. What? Sorry. You said what? pants optional. So all right, so next week we're going to be talking about Fury. Fury. That's right, Briar. Yeah. I, it was coming to the front. I could see it. It was, it was, right <laughs> it was working there. its way up real yeah. slow, like <laughs> 
PlayStation. It was 4 like guys. a half retarded spider that's missing two legs, trying to get all the way back up to the front. <laughs> well, well Bert, you couldn't see what we saw. Like I'm looking at you, I saw one eye, the the word now start rolling across, <laughs> and this one said loading <laughs> on the other one. So I knew it was time for me to jump in there. With jump you. on in there, Brian right, needs some help. He's got some steam coming out You're of his right. ears. <laughs> <laughs> on PlayStation 4, we're going to be playing that this week. I'll try to get through the entire game because I really liked it. And it's optional for you guys if you guys want to play it all the way through to completion. I'll I know a little it. bit about this game. I'm not going to even try to get to the end of this game. <laughs> Word up. Um, I'm definitely going to I – mean, I didn't say I would for sure. If it, if it starts kicking my ass, yeah, I'm going to go back to Hello Kitty real quick. But mm -hmm. PlayStation Plus, if you guys have PS Plus, definitely download this game. It's free this month. Uh, and, and we're going to play it and talk about it next month, and hopefully you guys will be in the comments letting us know what you think about it and whether or not you agree with us or disagree with us or you agree with the Beastly Gamer and don't fuck with the other two guys or vice versa. But we're excited huh? to find out. Oh, Robbie, just stop it. All right, guys. <laughs> no, you said. Thank okay. you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Uh, we will be talking. I will be setting up uh, the Discord server so we can talk about the game of the week. Yes, um, and I think that's I Beast, honestly be saying that's a fantastic Discord. idea. Discord, we need to do that. We should. That'd be awesome. Beastly Thoughts Live Game Club. It is a new thing. It does exist, and it's starting right now. Uh, yeah! We just push the fucking button. It's on. <laughs> it's on. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.